Now, it's a skill which dates back to medieval times, the ancient art of glass staining. Beautiful examples of stained glass adorn churches across the region and the land, and much of it is centuries old. Well, in these financially challenging times, one Leicestershire artist says his highly skilled craft is as much in demand now as it ever was, and not just in places of worship either. Here's Anne Smith. Derek Hunt stands in the footsteps of glass artists centuries before him, conserving and creating exquisite and historic stained glass art from his Leicestershire studio. It's a niche job, you would think, working on ornate church windows, but no, because even in these days of financial gloom, Derek finds his skills, like other master craftsmen and women, are constantly being called on. Every project is varied and you have to do a lot of background research uh, and developing the ideas and it's quite an adventure working with the clients. It'll, it'll outlive all of us and I think it's, it obviously represents tremendous value for money because you're able to en enjoy it for, for many years. He's crafted glass art in schools, halls and shopping malls across the Midlands using skills and tools that vary little from those used by glass craftsmen centuries ago. Derek's reputation for creating outstanding things of beauty from simple panes of glass means that he's very much in demand not only locally but also nationally. He's recently clinched a major competition to create a 16 feet high glass sculpture at the John Ryland University Library in Manchester where his latest work will be free to be enjoyed by all. That's being unveiled um, in the next couple of months and it's an exciting project because I'm really trying to champion the whole idea of, of public art. I think we Brits deserve to have the best public art because it can make such a difference to a space. It can change a space into a place. Born in Scotland, inspired by rural Leicestershire, Derek says art for all motivates him to create glassworks fit for this century which will hopefully survive well into the next. Anne Smith in Leicestershire for Central Tonight. That's beautiful, isn't Wonderful it? Wonderful school. That's Wonderful. what you call meticulous attention to detail, I yeah. think.